What is control? Whether you're handling a machine the size of a car, or as small as a computer, whether you're running a business, or using a paintbrush, you're faced with the problems of control. Just as a dancer must be able to control her body, a worker must be able to control his body, the machines of his trade, and to some degree, the environment around him. Jim, can you move the truck, please? All right, man, no problem. No one can deny that the ability to control things is the key to success. So what is control? The anatomy of control is one of the very basic principles of Scientology. Control may be subdivided into three separate parts. These parts are start, change, and stop. In start, we have simply start. In change, we mean the change of position in space or change that happens through time. And in stop, we have simply stop. Control is the ability to start, change, and stop things at your own choice. Start, change, and stop comprise a cycle of action. A cycle of action is the sequence that an action goes through, wherein the action is started, is continued for as long as is required, and then is completed as planned. A man walking a short distance starts, changes the position of his body, and at some point stops his body. He has, if he's done this, completed a cycle of action. On a longer span of time, a company starts, continues, and at some date, early or late, depending on how well it was controlled, ceases to exist. Control consists entirely of starting, changing, and stopping. If one has the ability to start, change, and stop something at will, he's in good control of it, whatever it may be. But if someone has difficulties or doubts about starting, changing, or stopping something, he's controlling it poorly or dangerously. And if he can't start something, can't change its position in space, and can't stop it at all, he is definitely not in control of it. Good control is certain, positive, and predictable. For example, imagine being moved around in a room by somebody. First, he tells you to go to the desk. To do so, you would have to start, change your body's position, and stop yourself. Then he tells you to go to the chair, and you do so. Then he sends you to the door. Now, oddly enough, you wouldn't mind this as long as you are able to complete each cycle of action before you started another. But let's take another look at this. Imagine, for instance, someone told you to go to the desk, but before you arrive there, he told you to do something else. But before you did that, told you to do something else, and then claimed you were wrong in not having gone to the desk. You would be confused and upset. This would be bad control, since it does not permit you to finish any cycle of action before another cycle of action is demanded of you. Bad control is uncertain and unpredictable. There can be so much of it that some of us begin to believe that all control is bad, which is not true. Actually, there is no such thing as bad control. It is actually not control because one either controls something or he does not. The greatest asset one could have would be a calmness of mind concerning what he is doing. And that comes from one's ability to start, change, and stop one's activities, body, and his environment. Thus, the secret of doing a good job is the secret of control itself.